Welcome to Star Season Star Breeds on TikTok and social media. Today is January 17th, 2024, and the galactic calendar is the red spectral moon, Wednesday's Oracle. I dissolve in order to purify, releasing flow. I seal the process of universal water with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. Now, I've been guided to say that we do um, double our power of manifestation today whether it be with wealth or love. So it's important to say our affirmations today. Um, the red moon purifies, um, is about universal water. When operating in the light of today's energy, positive aspects are opening to other levels of reality, awareness, self-remembrance, divine guidance, connectedness, beacon, signs, and symbols. When operating in the shadow of today's energy, symptoms are self-deprecation, negative self-talk, Hiding the fullness of your potential, lacking awareness, the signs offered by cosmic communication. These are things that we don't want to do. So to come out of the shadow, we open to self-remembrance, take off the veils of forgetfulness, and receive divine guidance. Seek out others who support your fullest expression and growth. Today's question, how can I release and let go? Today is also um, very synchronistic with the moon phase. Today is the first quarter moon phase with the ascending node of the north node of the moon is at Pisces. This is where all the eclipses will be this year. Um, the north node and the south node of the moon, which are important for our soul's purpose. So another synchronicity with the calendar. That's the whole reason why I started looking at the Zulkin Galactic Calendar. The Dream Spell Calendar. You can look for that on Google Play if you want to download that. We will be having another in another couple days uh, a double day and also portal day. So look for that. Um, now I'm going to do an oracle reading for today. The Red Spectral Moon. Uh, like yesterday, we were. I think we got a card for flow. So today is also like that, releasing flow and sealing the process of universal water. And the tone of liberation is tone of being free. I think we also mentioned that yesterday. So let's see what card we get today. Okay, again, I'm going to use the 13 moon orb cards. By Ariel Spilsbury. I've already prayed and lit me some incense. Do a card. Oh, it was fast. Ooh, the wise woman. Wise woman. I sim simplify, I resonate. Crossroads, allowance, heart knowing, simplify, inclusion, listening, and wisdom. Let me find that in the book, and I'll be right back. Okay. Oracle for the Archetype of the Wise Woman. Drawing this archetype in your reading asks you to discover the wisdom of your own wise woman being within you, no matter what your age or gender, who perceives truth directly through heart knowing. She invites you to come out of the mental realms and simplify in the heart. Receiving this card indicates that you may have become too complex, too invested in your rational, critical faculties. The wise woman is asking you to stop playing small to get present with the bigger mythic story that is knocking on the door of your life. While you may be busy retelling the same tired stories from the past or worrying about the future, she is inviting you to open friends who support you in not dramatizing your ego's storyline who would rather laugh in the wisdom of the presence, to create together and to play with your mythic costume collection. The present situation in your query is calling you to embody wisdom, but by not talking or advising, rather being fully present and listening in complete long, loving receptivity. What or whom is calling for that transforming gift? You or someone in your query is at a crossroads in his or her life at this time. Call upon the wise woman to assist you with a critical soul choice. The wisdom this card offers is to let allowance become an opener of the way, 
for more intimacy and love to flow in your life, breaking through any blockages of self-judgment and self-doubt. Allowance is to love. What judgment is, is to separation. Wherever you have separated, judged, or pulled away in fear, you are being asked to include. True wisdom is a simple, open, and inclusive state of being. The wise woman is inviting you to open to allow for new input, new people, new possibilities to reveal themselves through deep listening. See through the eyes of wisdom that you, your life, experience, and that of everyone else around you is tr truly serving growth. Remember to consciously affirm, I simplify, I resonate. So what do you resonate with today? And just take any words of wisdom and leave the rest. I think is what that's saying. Yeah, so the calendar is to purify. So make sure all the wisdom is purified and simplified. Leave all the garbage behind. If anybody's bringing you down today, um, look for the spectral tone of liberation, freedom. Um, uh, which it means to resonate. If something resonates with you, it's something that you really feel in your heart, which is also freedom. And of course, the purifying, maybe take a, a bath today um, to purify in water, um, a salt bath, and going in the flow. I hope that helped today. Um, I'll see you in the next few days. I'm working on a video about the Dream Spell calendar so everybody can get a perspective on that. And I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Three.